Me, my wife would not have Chris anywhere near my house. So although we lived in the same town, eventually Chris moved to six miles away from where I live. Once he, he was with Nancy, Chris knew that he was not allowed near my house. So any of our social life ended then. It had ended before because we used to knock around with each other in the 90s, but by the 2000s, I wasn't going out anymore. So when we were back together in WWE, our only time that we were ever together was at work. But after the incident, when Chris left with Nancy, my wife banned him from the house. And Chris understood that, and that was just the way it was. So we had no contact at all, except for at work. And I never traveled with Chris. I'd stopped traveling with him in the 90s. Um, just, we, we weren't compatible as traveling partners. We got on good together, but we didn't travel together. Cause sometimes you have to find a compatible traveling partner. I didn't travel with him. So he knew that um, we were completely, the only time we ever were around each other after the, what was it, 90, was it 97, whatever, whenever that was at work. I had a, hello, how are you doing? And, and that was it. And he understood the situation that he wasn't allowed to put one. And because we lived six miles apart, we never saw each other. I think that was a, that's, you'd have to ask my wife that. That was something that is, is gone and she's not going to answer that. Uh, and not going to be on the here to answer that. Um, but that was a separate deal. So me and Chris had nothing to do with each other, except for occasionally I, I've, I've been to his house and occasionally. This is how little we had to do with each other. He'd moved and he hadn't told me. So the house that all these terrible things happened in, I didn't even know where it was. I knew it was not far from where I lived, as far as probably another six miles away or so, I'm not sure, like, so I still don't know where it is. I, he hadn't told me when, it, that's how little we had. And if you go back and you look at phone records and whatever people have dug up, you won't find my, <laughs> anything to do with me, because we understood this situation, okay? So, the day, of the actual, the, the Sunday when we were hearing certain, well, I heard that he hadn't come to work. I asked my wife to go around to his house to check because that just didn't sat, sound right to me. Now I've got to live with this on my conscience, right? And it, it wasn't, uh, it's not a nice thing to think about because goodness gracious, what she could have walked in on. And she just, I called her and said, look, can you find out where Chris lives? She said, well, first of all, I don't know where he lives because he, he hasn't told us. Secondly, no, I'm not going around his house because I don't like him. Okay. So that was the end of that. The following day, we get to Raw in Corpus Christi. I, there's people who say that people knew what was going on. I didn't know anything. I was walking around in somewhat of a daze all day. And in fact, there's a, there's a bit of the day. I, or in fact, all day, I was calling my house to check on my family. Because for some reason, I had this notion when we'd heard of these terrible things that had happened, I, I had no, no, wouldn't, no way, shape or form would I have thought that Chris was anything to do with that. That is proven by what I just said, that I'd asked my wife to go around there on Sunday night, right? Do you think I was gonna send, ask my wife to go to his house um, if I thought there'd be anything going on? On the Monday, when we, we were in this, I'm in the days. But I start to think, what if there's some insane person going around doing horrible things to people? Be my family next. Could be somebody who doesn't like wrestlers, because I didn't know any of the facts. And I ended up going and sitting outside, because we were in Corpus Christi, overlooking the sea, 
just keeping out the way of everybody all day long. Eventually, I, I, I'm, and again, there was a lot of people like that, just walking around, not, I, I'd walked into the building a few times and nobody was saying anything, not to me anyway. Again, maybe it was just me that, maybe I'm naive here, but there was nobody said or said anything to me in any way, shape or form. I was asked to go in and do a video as I'm as a tribute. As I'm about to walk in, the red light is there's a red light on outside the door, meaning somebody is actually filming something. And they said we were told if you want to go and give a view, go in. I've been keeping, but I'm calling my family constantly. Are you okay? Are you okay? Because I don't know, I have no clue. And I'm just thinking, uh, uh, trying to t make sure my family is, is okay. Whatever amount of miles Chris lived away from me, I don't know. I, I, I want to make sure that they're, they're okay. I am about, the red light goes off and the door opens. And I, as I'm going in to give my tribute, JBL, comes walking out with a very strange look on his face. He said to me, you don't think he's had anything to do with it, do you? And I went, what? And that was the fir first thing that, of, of, of any notion of, of, of anything that went on. That was the first time that I've heard this. What do you see me doing in that, is me being well, now my head's spinning. What? Is this, what's, what don't I know what has happened? So if you watch it from that perspective, it may seem like, because I am in, in a complete shock, but also thinking, well, I don't know. Is, is, it, is this what's happened? I don't know. So I just deliver whatever you see. And I have sure. never watched it again. Now I know there's things, Get, has been put out and nonsense and, and about I, I knew this or I, that is the exact thing that happened afterwards after that walking around in a daze and nobody's telling nobody's certainly nobody's told me I didn't find out till I got back to the hotel that night which is in Corpus Christi and I called my wife and my wife told me what had gone on was getting put around on, in, in the news anyway. That is That was my day. And then the following day, we were driving on to another show, and people started calling me, asking me what was going on, and I was going, I've got no idea. And, and th th I mean, I really had no idea. And I, I found out more on the Tuesday. Monday, I was completely oblivious until that one brief meeting with JBL where he, he said that to me and my wife telling me at, at the end of the night once I got back oh, to my hotel. Again, I'm not going to go into any more about this ever again. If you want to believe that, you can. If you don't, that's up to you. But I'm telling you and I can give you on my, the, on my children's lives that that is the exact thing that happened to me and i believe me i wouldn't say that if that isn't the truth i'll not be talking any more about this so please don't ask any questions